we are finally here. The day has come. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is JC Hannah. If you are new here, I've been waiting for this video for so long. And honestly, was I procrastinating? Maybe. But was it a damn journey to get this room to be what it is now? I feel like when it comes to my room, I definitely let my creativity run and I'm constantly rearranging, redecorating. I love my room so much because I feel like the decorations, the way my room is set up, just basically represents exactly where I am in life. This minimal List, simple, clean, white is exactly just my vibe right now. Let's take it back maybe like 10 years ago. This room was bright lime green. If you know me personally, you know my room has gone through so many eras, so many different phases, and it, it's taken a long time. But here we are. Oh my god, here is where it all started. My room was painted gray, and honestly, that is exactly how it felt being in this damn room. Don't get me wrong. It was obviously much better than the freaking lime green. What I've always wanted was pure white. Like just pure, crisp, clean white walls. So of course, that's exactly what I went with. I was like, if I'm going to redo my room, we're going to redo it right. And honestly, I had no idea how many shades of white there were until we went to... The Home Depot and looked at all the samples. I was like, what the fuck? To be honest, I just, I knew I wanted something without an undertone. Like I literally just wanted pure white, no cool tone, no warm tone. And honestly, I don't really remember what these two were like called, but they were pure white and they were absolutely stunning. I got a little carried away. I was like, let's just, you know, <clears throat> let's start tonight. So that's exactly what we did. We were in there like swimwear. My room was getting so destroyed. I was getting anxious. I'm not gonna lie because I'm very impatient, but honestly, shout out Cody because he totally took control and was just like, I got this, follow my lead. Truly without him, I don't know what I would have done. And welcome to day two, where we officially started to paint. We were taking so much stuff out of my room, and it was just, it was so satisfying to watch all the gray get covered with the white, and I was just like, honestly romanticizing the fact that my room was about to be redone, and it already just felt so fresh and new. I don't know, it was an amazing feeling. I'm not gonna lie though, I was so bad at painting. It's very therapeutic, don't get me wrong. But Cody had to coach me the entire time, but it was honestly good. Like we had a really fun time just painting together and it was, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. You know, I will say it's all fun and games to redo your room until all of your furniture is literally in the hallway. I kept having to put it in the hallway to paint my room, bring it out of the hallway, put it back into my room so everybody could use the hallway. And that got a little bit annoying. My stuff was everywhere. It was kind of funny, but <laughs> not really because it was a pain in the ass. Anywho, this is the moment that me and Cody soon realized. Thank God I decided to get carpet for my room because we destroyed the floor with paint. Like, we didn't realize how much we were splatting on the floor oh my god it was so bad but thank god i decided that i wanted carpet because even before cody and i painted my sh my floors were destroyed so i knew i wanted to get some carpet to like cover everything up so obviously i did a little deep clean i mopped my floor which felt really good 
I feel like sometimes it can be hard to like really clean your bedroom floors and I don't know it was just again very therapeutic I feel like this process just basically showed me and taught me that you can truly restart whenever the you feel like it and to not take life too seriously because you can always clean up your past messes <laughs> literally What are you doing? Grab that end. Which end? Is that over there. So we can put it on that wall. So you perfect for wall out this way a little easier. Might as well if we're gonna do it with nothing on it. Might as well make sure there ain't a damn thing on there. Okay. Oh, since you can unroll it really easy. Kind of smart. It's just, it's the floors for me. I know. But it looks so good. Nice. Oh, wow, yeah, I like it. Real nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need another bracket. I need another squeeze, please. Oh my god, it looks so good. And we're not even done yet. Like, oh my god, I could cry. This looks so good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Which way would you rather have it go? More your side move my way or your side move my way? You know what I'm saying? Move it this way. I like exactly where this okay. is. Okay, hold, hold that. Take it, take no, take away. Okay, put it back. Wow. Are we lined up? Like, or how close are you to like the edge? Like, no, no. Like your 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 box isn't on the edge at all. At all. Look. Wow. <laughs> all right. Oh my God. Wait. I could. A high. Where the kids in here? All right. Come help me. Where though? Fudge are these holes? This is gonna be real this fucking is gonna be difficult, so man. So nice. All right, take the tabletop off, actually. Take it off. Yeah, take it off. Foremost, if you hear any crackling noises or ocean waves, that's because I have my Alexa playing ocean sounds and my fireplace is on the TV. I love creating custom vibes throughout the day just so it feels different. Like I have a different nighttime vibe, morning vibe. I'm all about the tone, the ambiance for me, and it just makes me feel very calm. So that's that. Starting with the door. When me and Cody were painting, I was painting over here, and I was like, what if I. So I just pain in my door and this corner just it feels like a jail cell I'm not gonna lie because it's like all white and I literally painted onto a wood door so it just looks it looks so bad in person I did get two command hooks to just hang my robes my towels and it's very convenient I used to have something hanging right here and just found myself literally hanging everything on those hooks and it just got messy and cluttered it just wasn't what i wanted to see so i feel like having these on the door obviously i can't hang much and it's just the essentials i'm not gonna lie i was going to save my vanity for last because this little space is everything for me it's just filled with everything that i love starting with my shelves are something that i immediately knew i wanted when putting together my vanity they're doing the job but i'm not gonna lie the other night i was laying in bed and all of a sudden i heard like cracking noises lo and behold they are all cracked well these two are fine but these two are cracking and breaking like a bitch so i'm definitely gonna have to order more i know i have probably way too 
of heavy products on here, I guess, but it's the visual for me. On my vanity, I just have my brushes. This little acrylic container is amazing because it spins and it just saves my life so I don't have to like get up and reach. But this is actually from Target and I love her. I just have this gold little mirror. I have so many mirrors on here, I know, but those are for lighting. And this is basically when I'm filming so I can get up close and personal. My big mirror that is currently hanging up on the wall is from Amazon. My room honestly should be like on display on the freaking Amazon website because more than half of everything in here is from Amazon and this mirror it's actually supposed to be a bathroom mirror so it doesn't have like a button to press and the lights go on I actually have to plug it in which is a little bit annoying but I just like it it I don't know it just gives a very clean bright light too moving on I have this other mirror that has a touch light you can control if it's cool warm both and stuff like that and this little thing this is so random but i just wanted to give a quick little shout out this is a little mat to switch your colors off of your brushes you just take whatever brush you're using and then swirl it around and it like removes the color so if you're doing eyeshadow you can use like a pink and then a blue pretty cool so i keep this on my vanity it's from sigma and it kind of fits perfectly right in that little nook of the mirror and yeah very random but very very helpful of course we have my beautiful skincare fridge i'm at the point now where i literally need a full-blown fridge in my room because ever since i started using my skincare products cold you never want to go back i throw pretty much everything in here actually it's looking pretty clean it's looking pretty good today but i have skincare face mask hair serums eye mask little tools over here literally absolutely everything it is a game changer lifesaver and it's just it's self-care in a different form it just hits different moving on to my actual vanity this is of course from ikea it's the iconic alex drawers and whatever the tabletop is called it is so good so sturdy the drawers are absolute perfection i'm not gonna show you guys my vanity in this video because it, it's crazy it was a bitch to put together <laughs> but it is amazing and I absolutely love this vanity. The best part about my vanity is my vanity chair. This makes me oh so happy. It obviously spins back and forth. It's on a little rolly, even though I don't really, I try not to roll around too much because I did put carpet in my room. It is just so comfy and it makes me feel like a game queen in my little slippers. Like I just, <laughs> I feel so good in this chair. It's so sturdy. It's from Amazon too. It's a beautiful like bone stone color and it's very easy to clean. I will say I've already spilled so much like foundation and stuff and it comes off very quick if you have like the Dawn power wash thing. It also reclines a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't trust it fully to like, you know, whatever. But it just, it's so comfortable, whether I'm doing my makeup, my skincare, sitting here editing my YouTube videos, being on emails, like it is absolute perfection it's also i wouldn't say it's like a velvet material but it's like this soft i don't know how to describe it if i'm being completely honest it's just very soft and this chair was under a hundred bucks this is my closet that you will not be getting to see because it's disgusting i used to have doors on here a long long time ago that's why i have this curtain just hanging up here i just have like a golden rod right here and these curtains are so freaking beautiful they're like a linen material and they look very high quality. I feel like this is the best alternative when it comes to like closing off your closet because getting doors is expensive. Over to the side, obviously I don't have that much space in my room so I didn't really know where to put my ring light or my tripods. So I kind of just keep them over in this corner. And then we have my beautiful dial bar right here. I kind of just hang up my favorite pieces for the season and obviously we're in winter so these are like staples right now. I have a lot of sweatshirts, long sleeves, cardigans, button ups, a lot of good jazz. I will say right here is kind of just a bunch of randomness that, well these specifically I didn't know where else to maneuver them into my room. They just kind of didn't fit so I threw them up here and they kind of look good. Definitely going to play around with it. Um, We have this beautiful picture frame of me and Cody. Just don't know where else to put it so it's hanging here for a little bit this is a target candle that is christmas themed let me know if it's just me but i feel like target candles don't really smell good like, i don't know i kind of just liked the gold here but it is a little bit too big see now i'm like i'm ready to 
change it and decorate again but and then over here i obviously have my fenty fanny pack over here and my ysl bag i got the fanny pack in a pr package which was the highlight of my freaking life and then i received ysl pr which like shook the fuck out of me so of course i'm putting it up there as decor because it just makes me kind of proud and makes me excited to look at it and i don't know looking up here i kind of want to make this like a pr station in a way i don't know but yeah these those two just make me really happy and they just inspire me to keep going if i'm being honest right next to it i just have my hamper this was like the perfect place for my hamper because it covers up all the wires and um the outlet I'm moving on over to my dresser i was going back and forth on wanting to buy a brand new dresser i wanted to refurbish this one like paint it get new handles it kind of put me in a little detour mode because i did not know what to do with this obviously all the furniture in my room is is like white so the black is like a sore thumb but yeah we have my black same old dresser i literally have this dresser since i was maybe like 10 years old i like how there's enough space on here if i wanted to pile up my wash here i could which is also why i hung up my tv and it makes me so happy it's on an adjustable little thing don't look on the back that's that's not to be seen but it does move wherever i want it to so like if i'm doing my skincare i can move it over or if i'm laying in bed and i finally got my wires covered which is something that was killing me i absolutely hate wires so getting a little wire cover was so so important and it just makes everything look a little bit more clean and crisp moving on we have this beautiful little decor piece kind of situation this gold tray is from amazon it gives like a vintage vibe and i love it this little vase is from the at home store i believe but you can find so many off of amazon and i just filled it with the pompous grass i believe it's called because it definitely gives like that airy soft vibe to the room and it's so pretty and i love how it like flows with the air I don't know. It's so cute. And then right over here, this is my jewelry box. And I love her. She's very tiny. I don't have much jewelry, so I don't need like a fancy jewelry organizer. It's white with a soft gold and it's so perfect. It has these two little drawers right here and the compartments on top. And I love her. When it came to rearranging my room, there wasn't many options for me, but I knew I wanted my bed against the wall. It does get a little bit tight, but my drawer is completely open. Oh, well, they're stuffed to shit. So they do open completely without like them touching the bed. So I felt like it was fine. Over here, we just have one of my nightstands, which again, are from Amazon. And they work pretty well. This one, it's Cody's side. So random ass hairbrush, traveling case. Yeah, they do the damn job. We have my diffuser on this side, which I absolutely love. We have a cute little lamp, little wood box which looks like decor but i'm a sneaky little bitch and i put my essential oils in here and then it looks like it's just decor but it's actually functionable favorite part of my room my bed it makes me so happy it's so warm it's so cozy it's everything i've ever wanted in life but my bed is actually one of those bed in a boxes from amazon <laughs> literally everything on here besides the blanket and those two throw pillows well all of the throw pillows Everything is from Amazon and I absolutely love my bed. This is like my favorite thorough blanket ever. It's from UGG. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond and I've washed it so many times and it comes back better and better. This throw pillow is from Target and then these two are from UGG. And at first I didn't know if I loved them. My mom had these downstairs on the couch for a while and I was like, hey, can I kind of borrow them they feel so amazing and these pillowcases can unzip and you can wash them which i absolutely love and i bought two sets of the same pillow obviously different pillowcases on them but these i've talked about them before these pillows have a cooling sensation to the side and it's absolutely phenomenal this one specifically has a linen pillowcase on it it doesn't feel extremely like linen like it's not scratchy it's not itchy it's perfect it's super thin too so you can still feel like the cooling side of the pillow that linen just adds a beautiful texture to the bed and they also match my curtains up here which we'll get to these pillowcases i recently switched to bamboo sheets which are my duvet cover my sheets and my pillowcases all bamboo which i really love and they're just so light and just like breathable super cooling absolutely love them even my bed frame is from amazon like the bed the bed frame 
all Amazon. So if you're looking for new bed furniture, I definitely recommend Amazon because it is affordable and it's obviously held up for a long time. I've had this bed frame since quarantine the first announcement of quarantine. So like a long time. And then moving on to my nightstand, Cody got me these flowers, but I have to sadly throw them out because they are dying. I just keep my Dr. Teal sleep spray with melatonin and essential oils. I always spray this before I go to bed. Well, before I get into bed, it's spritz town. And then I have this little fake plant that has a little fake water in it. This is from like TJ Maxx or something like that. And then right over here on the side of my mirror, I have my essentials, I guess you could call them. You have my deodorant, perfumes, body butters, lotions, and then like my tanning stuff, serums. And on top, I always keep my candle. Whatever candle I'm lighting, it's going on here. This is the destination. For my candle this little candle holder is from bath and body works and it's so cute this gold shelf is from a refurbished furniture store so i don't know if i'll be able to link it just stock it with all the jc essentials uh, apparently i almost forgot to talk about my floating shelves which cody was going through it putting these up <laughs> cody obviously helped a lot with everything in my room hanging up pretty much everything but my floating shelves so cute i felt like i wanted something on my walls but i didn't necessarily want like actual picture frames so i felt like the floating shelves were perfect on this floating shelf i just have this beautiful heart framed picture of cody and i this was actually his mom's picture frame which is just i don't know i love having her memory in here and then my favorite candle brand ever forever mood this is the candle cuffing season smells divine this is like my skincare in the middle i have this fake plant that i got from tj maxx super cute i love the fake water vibe i think it just makes it look a little bit more realistic and then this gold hearts statue situation i don't know where i got that i want to say tj maxx but i could be totally wrong and then lastly over here we have my favorite little sign i guess it just says ambition and then the definition and i would like to say i'm a very ambitious person so we love it and then i have another forever mood candle i felt like they just balanced each other out these are my floating shelves and i absolutely love them i just i didn't want too much hanging because i like using this wall to take pictures so i put them a little bit higher up so like i can use the wall for my backdrop you know, I almost forgot these two pictures are mine. Everyone, when I post them, it makes me kind of happy and kind of giddy because everyone's like, oh my God, where'd you get that painting? Where'd you get that drawing? And I drew them myself. So that makes me pretty happy. These picture frames, Cody and I actually spray painted. They were black. And now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have just kept them black because hello, I have a black dresser now. But nonetheless, they are beautiful. And I drew these actually both when I was quarantined. This one right over here to the left of my bed. This is just a girl that is growing out flowers and stuff. There was an inspiration pic that I seen that I was like, oh my God, I absolutely love this. Usually every time I draw something, I always have an inspiration pic just because I basically draw off of memory. This is just a woman that is growing out flowers. And I feel like the message behind this one is just simply you're always growing you're always evolving and that's just that on the right side of my bed this is the drawing um just a bunch of butterflies obviously i love butterflies and this just remind me of basically freedom doing what i love and that's that i wish i had deeper meanings but like i said i drew these while i was in quarantine so and then since we're here these are the curtains that i have hanging up it's the same rod and curtain that i have over on my closet and I love these. I definitely want to eventually get blinds right here so they're completely closed and you can't see in. I don't think anybody can see me. Hopefully. I don't know. But I definitely want to get blinds. I love when my sheets are hung back because Cody hung these up for me. They're just beautiful little, I don't know what you call them, but I have them on both sides to do this little drape. They add like a little feminine girly touch. It looks like a little crystal ball, but it's not. And I love them. Like I said, they are linen and they just are so nice. They feel as if they should be so expensive but they're really not they are a little bit on the sheer side so i wouldn't say they're like blackout curtains but when i close them they don't allow too much light like they're not full-blown blackout but they definitely aren't sheer even though they look it lastly i just have my full body mirror honestly i wanted to get i want to get a new one so bad i just i don't like the gray and white 
wood. You know, this one does the damn job. Beggars can't be choosers when you're trying to transform your room on a little budget, so, so I just kept it. This little picture frame wood thing, I don't even know what you would call it. This is from like TJ Maxx or something like that. And I only have this here because this is just covering my old ass thermostat that doesn't even work anymore. And we clearly accidentally painted it. Yeah, we just covered her up with a little picture frame that says you are exactly where you need to be. And it's just a beautiful reminder to me. It is a little bit random. It's like, what the hell is that doing there? But it's better to have that than to have that sticking out on your wall. You know what I mean? So. I think that honestly wraps up my room tour, my room transformation video. I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes and getting to see a little bit of the insight, the journey that it took to transform my room. I can't believe I'm finally here showing you guys what my room looks like, even though it's nothing like crazy crazy, but it definitely makes me so happy to know that like I bought everything in here. I did this on my own. Well, not on my own. Cody helped me a lot. Shout out Cody, thank you so much. I feel like I've been teasing my room for so long that I hope this video doesn't disappoint and you guys gain some inspiration or maybe some decor pieces. Everything will be linked down below. Everything came together and it makes me so happy and I love my room and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If this is the first video that you're watching, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. It would mean so much to me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly.